Hello. Hi. I am Patricia McNeely. I'm an Illumined Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. I hope that you're doing well today. First, I would really like to say that I hope everyone who has been through these two hurricanes gets their life back to normal. There's a lot of us praying for you and, you know, just doing our part, whether that means to uh, send something, donate something. And I don't just mean money, I mean donating time. And in the bigger picture, pulling themselves together with their twin because some of that is going to how we get the energies to be less chaotic and stabilized. So I wish everybody well with their recovery effort. Florida is a sweet spot for me. It was where I was born even though I live in Chicago and it's been very regrettable uh, to see everything play out. But I know my country and I know people. I mostly know people and people have big hearts and things will just keep getting restored, repaired and back to normal as swiftly as possible. And for the people that are working around the clock, be patient with them. They're working to make things safe again. So thank you so much for uh, listening to me about that. Now, in this video, I want to talk to you about what's going on, which I call no regrets. No regrets and lockdown. So the no regrets part. I have to be honest with you, I've been hearing a song for months really, but I heard it before that. I was hearing this from several months ago. And yes, in spite, they're using it in a chocolate, one of my favorite things to eat, in a chocolate commercial. And it's the Edith Piaf song, No Regrets. And it goes like this. No rien de rien. No je ne regret rien. Ni le bien comme a fait. Ni la mal se me bien igual. No, rien, rien. No, je ne regret rien. C'est paillé, balayé, oublié. Je me fous du passé. Now, what does this mean? She's singing a song, and this was one of her trademark songs, and she's French. And she's, you know, from a few years back. So this is, you know, very old school for some people. But what she's saying here is, I have no regrets. I don't regret any of the good, the things that have been done for me, not the bad. It's all the same for me. It's all paid for. It's wiped away. It's forgotten. I forgetting. I don't care about the past. And then she goes on to say, Avec mes souvenirs, j'allume les feux, mes chagrins, mes plaisirs, je m'ai plus descendu. All my troubles and all my pleasures, I don't need them anymore. They're all my loves, balayer mes amours avec l'ultramelo. I've broomed away all my love stories and their troubles. They're broomed away for good. Je repars à zéro. Or she says it in a higher tone. I'll start again from zero. And that's what a lot of you are doing. No regrets means no regrets. So while you might look back on things you've done in your past or what your twin has done, you have to put yourself in the mode of no regrets. No regrets. You can't regret money that you've spent on cigarettes. You can't regret money that you've misspent, that you've gambled, risks you've taken. Did you make the right choice? You can't regret having your children. There's no regrets. There's no regrets. So that's the first part of what you're coming into in this energy. No regrets. You played you loved, you lost, you played hard, you played softly, you hid, 
you gambled everything, you paid for things, you paid for other people, no regrets. You don't regret the decisions you made because in the moment, in those energies, at the point in time where you were, maybe you didn't make the best decision or maybe you made the only decision that you thought was available to you. No regrets. No regrets. So she goes on and at the end of the song, the way that the song ends is, because my life, because my joy, Sacraments avec toi. And that means today they begin with you. And that's what you have to say to your twin. Because my life, my joy, today they begin with you. And so the no regrets part is the first part of this. The second part is what I call lockdown. Now, what does that mean? I have it written here. That means that the astral, which includes your previous astral body, and that is something that was taught in ancient Egypt, and it's no longer how you're structured, how your light body is structured. Your astral, the etheric, the 5D old level, the 4D old level paradigm, and the 3D is gone for twin flame couples. That means it is inaccessible. That means if you try to go back, you're going to find yourself tripping around in some stuff. You're going to find that it doesn't work for you, where people look at you and say, how's that working for you? Or you try the same old thing and you do not get different results. And that's some of the insanity. Instead of going forward, some people do try to go backwards and take a retreat. It's not going to be possible for twin flame couples. Now the paradox here is that you're new. We don't know how that looks. We know some of it, but you're part of the creation of the new. You're a participant. Stop participating in old things. The old 5D level, yes, there was, uh, there were events that happened. The 4D level, the astral plane. And this affects people, things that they've done. The things that people call um, dark magic, the things that people have done as rituals, spell casting, etc. Some people are still getting rid of that. Now, people are in different places with this. Some are finding it affecting their lower areas, and that is the low level interference of the soul group, and there's upper level interference of the soul group and the astral plane as you're leaving. It's like flying through pollution. You're getting buffeted by the things that are coming off of other people's heads or that have been actually polluting and cluttering things up here. That's why you're leaving. You are leaving the monad that you have been a part of as well as the collective from every planet. So to give you an idea, when we talk about other planets, those other planets have had paradigms. Now, the definition of a paradigm is actually to learn a lesson. It's being immersed in a system or immersed in a culture or some type of larger structure for the purpose of learning. And some of what was learned on Mars, for example, has a lot to do with conflict, wars, and battles. And then the things that result from that, control, manipulation, intimidation, rivalries, jealousies, revenge, etc. Fighting everything down from physical level fighting to the Cold Wars. And what was learned on Venus? The paradigm there was brotherly and sisterly love. Some of the paradigm in the Pallades has been a lot of the astral stuff. Now we've brought all these streams of awareness here and it's collapsing very rapidly because you in order to be here have mastered many of these paradigms but you don't need the old stuff anymore why because it's become polluted distorted and corrupted and twisted up by the head and some of that isn't of your making it's just the way things are and have been for a long time your personal vehicle slash body your personal vehicle is your light body is now priority one by January of 2018, the ego 
structure, which is your personality partner. It is one of your subtle bodies. It is too small for your true essence for going to 5D. Your ego is an earthly subtle body. It's too small. The ego of both twins will finish loosening and dissolving. And the part that a lot of people are in has a lot to do with your root, your sacral area, and your hara. This will be, as you dislodge and detach from the monad, will tend to give you pains in the lower gut. That's your colon, intestine, stomach area, the rectum, the sigmoid colon, which is the very lowest part of the colon. That's also a feminine connection. What does this make people feel like? It makes them feel like um, some kind of gastro upset, irritable bowel, um, cranky bowel, stomach cramps, a feeling of having to go defecate and use the bathroom, but you can't, constipation, etc. You may feel like you want to um, clear yourself out there or that you constantly have to bear down because you want to push something out. And that is a distinct thing along with the eyes, burning eyes, itchy eyes, eyes clearing, eyes um, having focus issues while you're adjusting. The mouth, the mouth, tongue, inflammations of the mouth, the gums, the tongue, um, things that can be like fungal infections, thrush on the tongue, the teeth, where you develop something with your teeth. You have um, nerve problems, the tooth is sensitive, very sensitive teeth is one angelic trait. And the sexual and reproductive areas, so if you are a female and you're in a certain age range, which generally is going to be from 13 up until about 60 and you're going to be in your union you're struggling with things having to do with your reproductive cycles and I do talk about that in my webinars I outline it I talk about what it is why it is and what it has to do with leaving the monad and the collective the sexual and reproductive while they are interrelated are two separate parts these are the genitals and the reproductive areas of both men and women, both gender bodies, no matter what your sexual orientation is, hetero, lesbian, gay, transgender. Also, the spleen and the thyroid. For some people coming in with a 4D awareness, you've had a lot of uh, energy around your solar plexus and your crown, particularly your spleen. You may feel your spleen throbbing and pulsing like it's another heart. Ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum. Guess what? That's a lot of people from your soul group. This is why people will feel you know, that they know someone from their soul group or even mistakenly think that they are their twin flame if they feel it in the sacral, meaning the sexual area, uterus, sexual, um, they get turned on, or the solar plexus or the belly button. That is a soul group connection that does not your twin flame make. I don't care how many synchronicities you have. Twin flame is here. You're feeling it here, even feeling stuff down there because you will feel sexual tension or a sexual magnetism. And this is where the rubber meets the road, people, because as part of the breakup, you are continuing to break up with the false people. Mental, emotional, false twins, people you may have believed was your twin, people may you, you may have discounted were your twin who are actually your twin. So there's a lot of confusion about this. And depending on what people are feeling and depending on your emotions, your emotional quotient. How in touch with are you with your own feelings? Are you able to discern? And there's another level because some people love the outer stimulus, have no idea what they're feeling. They don't, they've compromised themselves in too many relationships or they're in a current relationship such as a marriage and they forgot about themselves. They actually have to get back to themselves. And your twin is helping you do this. So 
I'm going to be talking about uh, many of these things. I talk about it in two of my webinars the human body in transition, particularly the reproduction, and particularly about the men, what men go through, what you can't expect, what it's all about. So if you're having some things happen, such as erectile dysfunction, don't blame yourself. And ladies, don't get upset with your man. Don't take it personally. It's a part of the process, but a temporary one. I talk about it in there. Also, the return of your life daily living in multidimensionality. These are the two webinars, this one in particular, where I talk about getting your life into a new rhythm so that you clear yourself daily and you're able to start gearing up for living in two dimensions because that's the direction of it. You're saying goodbye to the old paradigm. I am also having two live webinars and the subject is living again and elevating and flying. Blue Infusion, it is September 15th at 7 p.m. Central. So that's good for people in the United States. It's your Friday evening, West Coast, Hawaii, or perhaps Australia, India. It's going to be your next Saturday. And I'm doing it on Saturday, the 16th at noon. So if you're in Europe, my noon is, if you're in England, in the UK, it's 6.30, your time, approximately. If you're in Greece, if you're in Italy, if you're in Spain, if you're in France, it's probably going to be, I'm sorry, not 6.36. It's going to be 7, okay? If you're a little further away, um, it's going to be a little later in your evening. But hey, it's your Saturday night. Maybe you can take a Saturday night put on your jammies. So one thing to say is thank you to everyone who has joined the webinars. It's been a pleasure having you, getting to know you. Also, some of these nights, okay, so for example, it will be daytime here. I call them the pajama party because we do end with a nice meditation. On Friday evening, there are many people who do um, get themselves situated nice and relaxed in, in their own home, in their bed. And as I do the guided meditation, sort of sink into that and it makes it very easy for you. So if you've been struggling to sleep, you might consider that. In, it, in Europe, it will be your evening. You could try the same things. Pajama party. Sorry, that's what we call it here in the United States. Pajama party. Now, you're also setting boundaries. So I want to let you know what some of this energy is when I talk about lockdown. Your lockdown, your personal lockdown, means that you are locked in with each other. So even if you say, well, I don't want this union, you have to say more like, I don't know what to do with it or I don't know what to do about it. Come on and find out. Because what you're going to find is that you're being constricted here, okay? You're really, 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 like everything is just squeezing you, squeezing you around the rib cage. Why? Or squeezing your heart. Uh, or like this. Oh my gosh. And your throat's constricted and tight. Your throat chakra is so tight. Your heart chakra is so tight. Or here. You're having sinus headaches, you're having migraines, you're having um, flashes, eye flashes, you're seeing little sparks, um, you're seeing halos on stuff, you're having an ocular migraine, your hearing is muffled. Okay, what's going on? Okay, I'll tell you what's going on. This is a part of your dimensional breakthrough. You are trying to break through either... 3D at the hip level, okay, 3D or 4D, and the neck is another 5D, 4D, and particularly here, breaking through 5D. She's trying to get out of the hole. She's, like, really, you know, struggling with this, like, oh, oh, oh. She needs to get out of the hole she's in. You're getting out of the old, you're having a dimensional breakthrough, okay? But again, there are things to know about that. Come join. 
come join because I will tell you not only what to do, I supply you with the support material. Okay, so if you're having pain in any of those areas, be aware, I know what it is. And the other thing to know, now, while some people are still hitting themselves on their own dang glass ceiling about some of this, okay, and you're literally trying to get out and you keep somehow banging your head on that glass ceiling and you can't get through. Why? Because you're not including your twin. And I'm going to say something right now. That does not mean pick up the phone and confront your twin. Your twin is more than a human. If you don't know how to include your twin, find out how. Because I get you going with that. Now, you have some people whose twin have been assisting, particularly with some of this old energy, the Uranus-Pluto, which I call the intellectual energy. So a lot of the people who have this consciousness, they're techie people, they are sometimes musicians, they're programmers, they're people that tend to be very... Um, aesthetic in terms of being analytical. They're analytical type of people. They're innovators. They may not be people people. They might not seem very sociable. In fact, some of them are very nerdy, okay? But they've been very important. They're also the diplomat. The new divine masculine and feminine are the peacekeepers, okay? So if you've been thinking that your twin is like camped out somewhere and that they haven't been doing or listening to you or getting it and you're just like saying why is or like she's saying she's going to say it why are you still asleep why are you asleep wake up wake up wake up that's not the way to wake them up okay because they're doing something and they've been doing some very important things they have been bringing in the cosmic connections and frequently prototyping things. Also, the masculine knows things very intuitively, very intuitively, with a quick lover's intuition. He knows her. He knows things about her. She's not sure if she can trust him because she's never been able to really trust a man in her life. Not her dad, not grandpa, not the uncle who, you know, he was kind of weird with her when she was a child, and she's just not sure, okay? But what is happening is that very rapidly, his indigo carpet that he's been standing on for a long time, it is very rapidly, we are rolling up the carpet. So you are rolling up the carpet from all of these planets. So from this planet here, the carpet is being rolled up. That is what is happening. And what would you do once the carpet is closed, rolled up? Close the door, okay? You vacuumed up your carpet, you rolled it up, it was like all frayed. You've got like one last nerve and it's all frayed. Look at, there's the nerves. These are her nerves. Everything's been happening. And he's got that indigo part nailed. Okay. He nailed it. He nailed it. He's got that. And, oops. Right now she doesn't know how happy she's going to be. But he has things that she might not be largely aware of, particularly if she's considering getting in another relationship. She's been waiting and waiting and waiting. Well, I'll tell you right here at the 11th hour, if she doesn't continue to wait for a little bit longer, she's going to wait until next year. Okay? So that's another thing. We are coming up to the equinox here, another turning of the seasons. It's time to get out your surfboards and surf this good. Get yourself out of the hole. Get yourself out of the rut. Have no regrets. Get yourself moving. Get your body, get your personal vehicle ready. 
because it is not the Merkaba. The Ka is the etheric body of the group. The Ba is the monad. Okay, so those are what, those are ancient Egyptian words. Okay, there are people out there doing videos speaking light language. Those are ancient languages. That's why it's clicking with some of you. That's why some of you are feeling a call when you hear that stuff. I know what those are. I interpret the heart energy. When I do a session, someone can speak their native language and I will understand what it is they are saying. I translate it without knowing the language. And I understand those ancient languages. I don't happen to speak them. However, they are a call. And, you know, those might not click with everyone. But what does click with you is that you have your personal vehicle now. You have your body. Find out about your body because your human body is in transition, including your reproduction and several other body systems. Everything is getting ready to work in harmony. So I want to just remind you of something else. While there are a lot of people that teach things, okay, I have quite a bit of material prepared about the body, but not only that, there's two of you. I feel both your energies. I feel the two people. I feel what she needs, what he needs, or what she and she needs, or what he and he needs. Whatever alignment you are, whatever you have incarnated as, I feel. I feel things spatially where things are in relation to you. I feel things on the body and I feel ways for whoever I'm speaking to to assist their other because you don't need to double up. Just one of you needs to do by being and that is what I teach. So this is something that I'm finding I should mention because there are people out there that are still reading mind saying, oh, they're never going to be with you. This is an impossible situation. Um, they don't want children, they don't want this or that. And why are you being told? Because your heart will know the truth. Your heart will know the truth. And, you know, if it upsets you, then that's your heart knowing the truth about the person. You still may not know what to do, but you still know things. And perhaps you need someone who is able to, and has always approached this as, there's two of you lovers. You're poured into two bodies. You're coming in from two streams and you're converging and merging together. That is the name of what I do, twin flames merge, because you, will, you are merging yourself into one. You are one organism, one unit, one organism with multiple parts and a sense of being individuated. How do you have the sense of being individuated? Okay, for some of you that's coming up. So there's another thing I wanna talk about here. Three phases, four waves, one, two, and three. The first phase has been meat for the majority of people from 1987 to 2012. This has begun with the flash of recognition and imprint into the eye and heart and to activate, okay? You're activating your DNA and the light body. You start the activation. This is why when some people meet someone, they're like, whoa, my whole life was turned upside down. It started. Phase two, heal, purge. You make your bridges, you elevate, many people separate during that time period. That is for your polarity shift. This is also for your cosmic and joint connections. Now people mistakenly think that runner chaser is always a phase you have to go to or stage. Okay, I don't use the word stage because it's almost implying you have to go through that, or what if you don't, or what if you do, or what if you're still doing it? What does that mean? So I'm sort of giving a general overview here of the three phases. 
The next one that the first and second waves are in are the what I call the re-encounter, which will be occurring up and through January of this year of next year, January of 2018. Re-encounter. Finish the job. What does that mean though? That means finish any of your financial entanglements. Who have you been in bed with financially? Who do you need to conclude with? Where do you move? What things are you lining up? What kind of setups do you need to do for your new life? Your health, your well-being, education for your kids, a place to live. What do you do about that? You're aligning your heart, your causal, your causal bodies, and your marma points. So that is the majority of what your time will be spent. Some of this you're not going to be able to do at the human level, which is where I come in because I do this through who I am by leading you through it and you do participate in it. You can participate as little as you want or as much as you want in my live webinars, meaning you don't, you can just listen if you want. However, participation with physical movement and non-physical movement of your light body is something you have to learn, okay, because it's new. So, that's quite a bit here that I outlined for you. And I want to encourage you, have no regrets. Try not to spend your mental energy saying, I woulda, coulda, shoulda, I woulda done this or that. There's a plan here. We have a plan. We have a plan, okay? Please do not be afraid. A lot of people are feeling their fears come up, and that's okay. I will talk about that in my live webinar about the emotional side of this because even though you might tell yourself no regrets you're gonna feel emotions and it's okay it's okay you should because you came here to be in love you came here to throw out the old indigo stuff and be in love so thank you so much for listening thank you for tolerating my bad French Okay, that's uh, not my best language, but I do love it. I love to hear it spoken, and I love that song, and I love chocolate, and I love love. And je m'appelle Patricia. Okay, so thank you so much for listening. I want you to have a good week. The links are below to sign up or get that. My website, if you would like a reading, a session, or to join the group, is www.twinflamesmerge.com. I want to let you know, even though I call it readings, it's more than a reading. I like to get you jump-started on what you need to do here. So readings without actions are no good. I mean, we're getting to a level where, you know, just getting a reading, it's not sufficient. So Invest in yourself. Try something, okay? Um, I hope that you have a wonderful week. I'm going to say that again. Thank you so much. Please subscribe if you like these updates because there will be more that I talk about coming up here. Thank you. Bye.